Hey there, Red Hawk Nation. Today is Wednesday, August 25th, and I'm Allison Lastavigo with today's daily update, brought to you by Wingspan TV. In May, Governor Greg Abbott signed an executive order stating that public schools in Texas can no longer require students to wear masks. Since then, there have been many changes regarding COVID-19 numbers in certain areas, leading to some school districts to go against Abbott's order. WTV's Karina Grohovskaya has the details. Effective June 5th, Abbott declared public schools in Texas could no longer require masks on campus. It is clear from the recoveries, from the vaccinations, from the reduced hospitalizations, and from the safe practices that Texans are using, that state mandates are no longer needed. However, since then, COVID cases have seen a spike with a new Delta variant on the rise. According to the Texas Department of State Health Services COVID-19 tracker, there are approximately 1,100 newly confirmed cases of the coronavirus on June 5th, the day Abbott lifted the mask mandates in school. A little over two months later, on August 17th, there are more than 20,000 newly confirmed cases. As more positive COVID cases spike and hospitals become full, Many school districts have gone against Abbott's mask ban and have instated their own mask mandates. Both Dallas ISD and Austin ISD announced on August 9th that they will be requiring masks for all staff and students. However, the state is challenging these mandates in the courts. As of today, Frisco ISD is following the directives issued from the governor's office that masks are not required at district events. Reporting for WTV, I'm Karina Koska. The academic year is now in full swing and school photos are about to begin. Here's WTV's Ryan Shapiro with more. On Thursday, students will go take pictures in the library during their English class for their 2021-2022 class pictures. While this may seem early, yearbook needs to get these pictures in quickly. We have yearbook uh, deadlines all year, and so just to get the book done on time, we have our pictures done early because some students might miss the photos, so then we'll have a makeup day. Um, we just need to make sure all the photos are done early enough so we hit our deadlines. While most students will be taking their photos on Thursday, seniors will be taking them at another time. Last year was the first time with Southern Images and they just do their photos at their studio as opposed to the previous photographer which would do it in the cafeteria. So yeah, everybody has to go to the studio but it's close by at least. But yeah, that's the way they can make all the photos uniform and all of them look, you know, nice and good for the senior section of the yearbook. Reporting for WTV, I'm Ryan Shapiro. If you're looking for more from Wingspan, you can follow us at Liberty Wingspan on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, or visit our award-winning website, libertywingspan.com. And now for today's announcements. Wrestling is looking for both competitors and managers. For more information, contact Coach Bridwell in C106. Are you interested in competitive gaming such as Valorant, Overwatch, and Rocket League? Liberty Esports is recruiting players for the fall 2021 season. If you're interested, please talk to Chris Hamm in C243. HOSA has its first meeting on August 26th in the morning and August 27th during advisory. Seniors must call Southern Images at 972-414-6884 to book their free cap and gown portrait session ASAP to be in the yearbook. Email breenk at friscoisd.org for more information. That's it for today's daily update. This is Allison Lastavica for Wingspan TV.